Gentlemen, again, welcome aboard this morning. I'm told we're number one now. Please check your seat belts, short harnesses, fast, and seat backs up right now for it. Tray table stowed. As Gary said, we do have a tailwind going to Baltimore this morning. About an hour, probably 20 minutes, maybe, gate to gate. Buzz is going to leave Milwaukee at uh, 7.30 in the morning, and he's going to go to Baltimore. Barb is, uh, I don't know what her exact title is. We've changed it two or three times to try to, uh, as best as possible, describe accurately what she does, but you can't. She's the first point of contact for everything within our program, and it's that you can't quantify her value. She's a coach of our program. She just doesn't coach our team. And she does anything and everything that doesn't have to do with the X's and O's. Our kids know who she is. Our kids go to the office to see her. Uh, she, she's, she handles what we eat, when we eat, where we eat. Uh, all of my travel, uh, any time I'm traveling, whether that's alone, whether that's with an assistant, whether that's with my family, whether that's with our team, she handles every portion of that itinerary. The pilots, the timing, the car, uh, the directions, my GPS. We load the GPS. So literally we say, be at the airport at this time. He knows what airplane he's going on. He travels privately. And then I, I text him and I go, are you still on target for this and that? And if not, then I communicate to the pilots. Um, and we just kind of try to stay in front of them. The plane itself is, that's what allows the efficiency uh, and be able to go from spot to spot, from state to state. I couldn't do any of this. I, I, I couldn't be accountable recruiting wise. I couldn't be accountable to our team. I couldn't be accountable to our family. And so uh, it is a cost. I understand that not every coach can do it. Not every program can afford it. We're grateful for uh, having the opportunity to do it. He tried at the very beginning to try to do a lot of commercial flights, but when you're going out to California, he doesn't like to waste time. So if he goes out to see something and you want to come back, that's impossible to, I think the flights from California, I think like noon, it'd be the last one. Other than that, you got to do red eyes. So it just doesn't work. The most important asset that I have is my time. Uh, my time with my family, my time uh, with our team, my time with these recruits. I don't think Buzz sleeps, and that is a fact. He, the, he works continuously. I think he sleeps three or four, and I'm not even kidding you, I think he sleeps three or four hours a night. So we got him a nice comfy uh, pillow and a blanket, and then basically sleeps on the plane <laughs> before he has to go to the next spot. Looks like good weather en route to high about 82 degrees in Baltimore today. Throughout the year, there are certain periods that you can that you're eligible to go on the road recruiting. There are two different types of periods, a contact period and an evaluation period. I enjoy watching kids play um, in July. I enjoy watching kids play a high school game during the you know, winter. But the most important thing for me is not who they are as a player, it's who they are as a person. And uh, I can figure out the player part of it relatively quick, just like most coaches. But the contact period, you're able to, you're able to have uh, time with them on their turf. It's so important to me that those kids and the families that they represent, not only do I know them, they need to know me. Uh, because if they do come here, uh, I wanna make sure that they knew what the deal was before they got here. I want you to understand our culture. I want you to understand what this really is about. And in order to, as best you can, explain what our culture is about without them having to be in it, without them having to live it, that takes an inordinate amount of time. And so I'm constantly, as best I can, explaining to them, I want you to really know. I want you to really understand and comprehend what I'm about and what we're about. And if you become one of us, what you're gonna be about. I'm humbled and thankful that I've had an opportunity to live a dream bigger than any dream that I've ever had. But within that, you can't, you can't live the dream 
unless you have somebody that can run the house. My wife and I have been married a little over 10 years and man, she's been with me everywhere. I cry every time I talk about her because uh, I go so fast that when I slow down, I do slow down to talk about my wife and uh, I wouldn't be where I'm at uh, without the relationship that we've had. What she tells our children about what it is I'm doing and how she spends it in such a positive way on why dad's not there. But the only way I can do it is because of who she is and what her heart is and what her soul is. I love you. I'll call you when I land. Hang in there. All right, baby.